Hi, welcome to another video. So, we need to talk about a very specific pain point that I think every single developer using AI has run into. You know the drill. You open up your favorite AI coding tool or chat interface, and you start building something. At first, it is great. It writes the boilerplate, it sets up the basic functions, and everything is smooth. But then, you get about 20 messages deep into the conversation. You ask it to refactor a component or change how the database connects. And suddenly, the AI completely loses the plot. It hallucinates a variable you deleted 10 minutes ago. It forgets that you are using TypeScript and starts writing JavaScript. It suggests installing a library you already have. This happens because most of these tools treat software development like a casual conversation. They rely on a context window that, while getting larger every year, is still just a temporary buffer. They have short-term memory, but they lack a long-term understanding of your project's actual architecture and history. However, Google recently released an open-source extension for their Gemini CLI called Conductor that is trying to solve this in a very practical way. They call it context-driven development. And honestly, this is kind of awesome because it shifts the paradigm from chatting with a bot to managing an intelligent agent. It basically forces the AI to plan, document, and understand your project constraints before it writes a single line of code. And since it runs through the Gemini API, if you are on the free tier, it is pretty affordable, basically free, to experiment with. Now, let me show it to you in action, because explaining it doesn't really do it justice. You have to see how the workflow actually operates. First, the setup is incredibly fast. You don't need to install a heavy desktop application or change your IDE. You just need the Gemini CLI installed on your machine. If you have Node.js, it is literally one npm command. Once you have the CLI, you run a simple command to install the conductor extension. It takes literal seconds. I'll put the exact commands in the description, but it just works out of the box. So, I have my terminal open here. I am inside a completely empty folder. I'm going to use this to build a movie tracker app. Let's call it SignLog. The idea is that I want a place to log movies I've watched, give them a rating, and maybe filter them by genre. Usually, at this point, I would just type a prompt saying, create a Next.js app for tracking movies. But with Conductor, we do it differently. I type slash Conductor colon setup. Watch what happens. It doesn't just start vomiting code. It initiates an interview process. It acts like a senior engineer onboarding to a new team. It asks, is this a new project or an existing one? I type, new. Then it asks, what are we building? Now, look at the file structure in my explorer. It just created a hidden folder called dot conductor. Product.md outlines the features. The AI is no longer guessing. It has a source of truth that it will reference for every single task we give it moving forward. But it doesn't just stop there. Now, we need to actually build the application. In Conductor, work is organized into what they call tracks. You can think of a track as a feature branch, a JIRA ticket, or a specific unit of work. I type slash conductor colon new track. It asks me what this track is about. I say, scaffold the project structure, set up the tailwind configuration, and create the main movie card component. In a normal chat, the AI would just execute this. But conductor generates a plan .md file first. It breaks down my request into granular steps. It asks me to review the plan. This is a huge deal, because if the AI misunderstood something, like if it planned to use the pages router 
instead of the app router, I could catch it here and tell it to correct the plan before it wastes time writing bad code. I look at the plan. It looks solid. I hit approve. Now I type conductor implement. This is where it gets interesting. The agent reads the plan it just created. It double checks the techstack.md to ensure it is complying with my rules, and then it starts executing. It runs the terminal commands to install the packages. It creates the files. That is majorly how it works, and this is significant because of how it handles team collaboration. Remember those markdown files? Product.md, plan.md, tracks.md. They live in your repo. This means you can commit them to GitHub. So imagine you are working on a team. You set up the context, you define the tech stack, and you push the code. Your teammate pulls the repo down. When they run Gemini CLI on their machine, their agent sees the exact same context yours did. You are effectively sharing the AI's brain across your entire team. If you update the product.md to say, we are switching to a mobile-first design philosophy, the next time your teammate asks the AI to build a navbar, the AI will build it mobile-first, because that constraint is now part of the shared project memory. It streamlines your workflow a lot. You stop having to repeat yourself. You stop having to paste your package.json into the chat window every time you start a new session. The AI just knows. And the visibility is great too. You can run slash conductor colon status at any time. And it gives you a high level overview of exactly what the agent is working on. Which step of the plan it is executing. And what files it has touched. If it goes down a rabbit hole you don't like, you can run conductor revert and it intelligently rolls back that specific track without nuking your entire Git history. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.